This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel, what doof Yahweh thy power require of thee, but to fear Yahweh thy power, to walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve Yahweh thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akim out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures said to do so. Deuteronomy chapter 10. Verse 12, and now Israel, what doth Yahweh thy power require of thee but to fear Yahweh thy power? So it's a commandment that we fear our Heavenly Father, the Creator. Okay? Because that's the beginning of obedience, that's the beginning of wisdom, that's the beginning of acknowledgement of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. But as we see in society, Okay, in Babylon the Great and across the four corners of the earth, and also as we see as you know, these Negroes in the truth, okay, their actions, what they produce, what they bring forth, their fruits show otherwise. Okay, because we see the, the, the spirit of pride, the spirit of Jake believes that he that he is something when he is not, when they when they have deceived themselves. Okay. And that all comes with a lack of fear. So to fear the Lord, as the scriptures state, let's grab that. And these are the commandments. And what I just read to you is a commandment. Okay, so this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 9, verse 10. The fear of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the holy is understanding. So to fear the Lord is to get knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay, because the Lord is dealing with the humble in heart, and those are the ones that he's going to increase, the humble and the lowly. Okay, let's grab that. Because again, as we see in society, we see a lot of Israelites that don't fear the Lord because of their actions, because of what they're producing, what they're uh, 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 bringing forth. All right? Bear with me. It's the book of St. James, chapter 4, verse 10. Humble yourselves in the sight of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and he shall lift you up. So when you humble yourself, you acknowledge and reverence and fear Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. So, you know, that's something that we need to ask ourselves every day. Are we fearing the Lord? Are we walking correctly how Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai intended us to? Okay? Because again, we see with these actions that are being brought forth is that uh, a lot of you Israelites don't fear Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, this is Sirach chapter one, starting off at verse eleven. The fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is honor and glory, and gladness and a crown of rejoicing. Do you hear that? The fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is honored. You honor the Lord. You're obedient. You're under subjection, okay? You, you are very careful about how you move, what you do, what you say, because you don't want to transgress. You don't want to go against Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. You want to be uh, 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 in, a, in an agreement. You want to be uh, 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 in, a, in an alliance, okay? You want to be uh, having your actions be acceptable to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. And you glorify him with gladness, because you understand the Lord's will. You understand that the Lord controls both evil and good. You understand that this is the Lord's show and he could have chose somebody else and not your ass, man. He could have chose a number two pencil, a bottle cap, anything to come out here and preach, preach and teach his word, okay? Pride should not be in your heart, which is your mind, okay? Verse, thir verse uh, 12, the fear of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, maketh a merry heart and giveth joy and gladness and a long life. 
okay because you know again you are uh you know you have an eager yearning spirit to go out here and preach to confess to proclaim these words this gospel among the masses of people out here in the world man you know it gives you glory it gives you a, a merry heart it gives you happiness to do the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. okay verse 13 whoso feareth Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, it shall go well with him at the last so that what's that at the last that's judgment that's uh, upon your death you know, but I don't want to design this time, you know, we uh be those uh first fruits that shall not see death, as as uh Yahweh Shah Hamashiach stated, and also in the book of Second Address. Okay. And he shall find favor in the day of his death, like I just said. Verse 14, the fear of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. It's like the fear of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is the beginning of wisdom, like I just stated earlier. And it was created. With the faithful in the womb. So the Lord only gave that actual true fear to the ones that he predestinated. He uh, selected before the creation and foundation of the earth. So everybody's not going to have that fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. As it stated in this precept, it was given to the faithful in the womb. Okay? It was given to the faithful in the womb. All right? So... So let's uh let's go ahead and ride and we'll continue. You know, because I, as I just stated, man, you know, you see a lot of these Israelites by their actions and their uh efforts and their works and how they conduct and carry themselves, that they don't really have the fear of Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shah. You know? And a uh, prime example, you know, you got this ham hawk eating nigga. You know, uh, trying to justify uh, 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 his wicked uh, will against the Lord's commandments of uh, the dietary law, trying to justify him eating abominations. You know, and saying that we're not under the, the law of Moses, which you know, of course, we can't be uh, judged off the law. Salaki, so Salaki. So let me uh, take that back. We can't um, keep the law. We're um, basically um, living off of grace right now, but that doesn't give you the uh, the boldness or the disrespectful attitude to do the things that you want to do to appease your flesh. Okay, because again, you know, as it says in Judges chapter five, verse eleven, we, we will rehearse the righteous acts. So not only the high holy days, but also you know, uh, attempt to keep the commandments uh, uh, as much as we can. Especially the ones that we can actually keep. Okay, that, that, that also shows your fear, your reverence, your acknowledgement, your obedience towards Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. And again, your fear. Because you fear if you go against the Lord's words, what he'll do to you. All right? You fear if you be disobedient to the Lord, that he'll judge you. He'll take you out. And the Lord's not going to be sweet about it, man. You know, so that's something that we have to ask ourselves. So like ourselves on a daily basis is do we fear the Lord? Are we walking how the Lord wants us to walk? Are we uh, being obedient? Are we taking heed to the words in these scriptures? Or are we being rebellious? Uh, do we have any, uh, uh, any amount of pride on our spirits, on our, on our heart? Are we... Uh, you fat bitch. So lock you. Put your fucking turning signal on. Fucking Edomites. So lock you. Forgive me. But uh are we showing ourselves that uh we're walking how the Lord wants us to walk? So like you, we're walking how the Lord wants us to walk. And not uh doing our own will and making our own customs as we go along daily in this truth because as we read a couple of times the fear of the lord that is the beginning of wisdom so the lord is not going to give his knowledge wisdom and understanding to those that do not fear him those that do not acknowledge him those that do not uh, uh take the time to you know first and foremost take accountability which goes into he um hosea chapter 5 verse 15 i believe you know where the lord said he's uh he will um go his way till they acknowledge so when you acknowledge your offenses 
You're taking what? Accountability. You're uh, repenting for your uh, actions and uh, you know, uh, showing that shame for those actions and asking for forgiveness. All right? But the fear of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is a, a, a very, very heavy commandment that we must uh, apply. Okay? And you know, uh, a lot of these Israelites are showing otherwise in this captivity. A lot of these Israelites are showing that they uh, don't fear the Lord until they get their ass whooped. Okay? Sirach 34, verse 13. The spirits of those that fear the Lord, Yahweh, shall live. For their hope is in him that saveth them. Whoso feareth, Yahweh, shall not fear, nor be afraid. He is his hope. Blessed is the soul of him that feareth, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. To whom do he look? And who is his strength? For the eyes of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, are upon them that love him. He is their mighty protection and a strong stay, a defense from heat, and a cover from the sun at noon, a preservation from stumbling, and in help from falling. He riseth up, he riseth up the soul and lighteneth the eyes. He giveth health and blessing. And these are benefits for those that have that reverence, that have that fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Because as it says, man, uh, those that fear Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah shall live. Okay, he shall save them because he is all hope. Okay, whoso feareth the Lord shall not be afraid. Okay, nor fear because why? We fear the Lord because we know the Lord and we know and understand that the Lord controls all. He's calling the shots. So we fear the Creator. So we won't fear what's happening out here in Babylon the Great when all hell breaks loose. When Jacob's trouble is 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 out here, you know, uh uh off the chain. A lot of bloodshed, no mercy being shown. No compassion being shown. No anything being shown. Just all out fucking judgment, man. And we're going to fear you how about Shem Yahweh Shah. And that's why we pray and hope that the way we're walking in this captivity is correct. All right? It says, blessed is the soul of him that feareth Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shah. And this, again, this is a blessing. So if you fear the Lord, you're going to have benefits. Again, if you fear the Lord, you're going to be blessed and you're going to have benefits. It comes with the territory. You know, Psalms 91, Job chapter 5, Isaiah 65, verse 13 on down. Okay? <coughs> to whom do we look? We look for Lord, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh for all things. Because he is our strength. And the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. And how do you show that you love the Lord? What's, what's the first one we read in Deuteronomy 10 verse 12? To fear him and to walk in all his ways. But the first one was, was what? To fear him. So if you fear the Lord, the Lord loves you. Because if you fear the Lord, you're going to walk in his ways. You're going to be obedient. You're going to take heed to his words. You're going to do everything to the best of your ability that he gave you. All right? And the Lord is going to protect you. So I'm going to leave it right there, man. I don't want to rock this out, man. I hope and I pray that you beloved, true, sincere, Aki and Wa Aqua, I've got something out of this. So with that, I'm just going to say, Koho Lagim La, Babanawa Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak Radash, Watha Wada Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakak Radash, for putting the spirit on me, my elder apostles, elder bishops, elders, brothers on down. For doing these epistles to enlighten you, to inform you, to edify you, and uplift you through the power and spirit and words of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. May the blessing and election and protection be upon you and your household. Adawan Ratazah until the next one. And man, remember, man, fear. Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. Do you fear in the Lord? Are your actions showing that you fear the Lord or are they showing otherwise? Examine yourself daily, okay? So we can improve. We can be accepted in the eyes of Yahweh Shah. Shalom.